Here's another example involving Coulomb's law, but we don't actually solve the equation for Coulomb's law to solve this problem. We're just going to use the fact that Coulomb's law is an inverse square law. Now let's look at the problem. Two charges are six millimeters apart, and you can picture this if you draw a little diagram. So there's one charge, Q1, and there's another, Q2, and the distance between them, we're told, is six millimeters and we're told that they exert an electrostatic force on each other of 0.38 newtons. So 0 0.38 newtons. And then they're told, we're told that they're moved to a distance of 9 millimeters and we're asked what is the force on them in that case. Well, the equation, Coulomb's law, F equals K Q1 times Q2 over R squared, might be helpful but we don't know Q1 and Q2. We don't know the magnitudes of the charges, so we can't actually put numbers in and solve this equation. But we do know that Coulomb's law is an inverse square law. You see the R squared in the denominator. The force is proportional to the inverse square, or we say the force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. So we can use that fact to solve this problem without actually having to do the computation to solve this equation. And here's how we do it. We say at this distance, 6 millimeters, there's a force of 0.38 newtons. And then I move them to 9 millimeters apart. So 9 millimeters apart, I've, uh, I've increased the distance by a factor of 1.5. And you can see 9 millimeters divided by 6 millimeters is 1.5. So there's an increase in the distance. That's my distance r by a factor of 1.5. Now we know from the equation that a bigger value for r gives us a smaller value for f. But it's not just an inverse relationship, it's an inverse square relationship. So if I increase the distance by a certain factor, then that's going to divide the force by that factor squared. And that's the nature of the inverse square relationship. So I just take this original force here, 0.38 newtons, and divide it by this number, 1.5 squared. And that's it. That would be my answer. 0.38 divided by 1.5 squared comes out to 0.17. And that's the answer. And we find that not by doing the computation shown by that equation, but by using the fact that it is an inverse square law and the, the inverse square relationship. And similar problems show up with gravity as well as we've seen. This is an example of a, of a problem that's mathematically very simple. We're just dividing by a number. But conceptually, you need to understand the inverse square law to make sense of it.